how to get a woman to respect you immediately. They do. I vow to give my love to you. Uh, uh. No one, no one else but you. Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before we get started, I want you to watch the entire video. If you like the video, comment, like, subscribe at the end of the video. But first, watch the entire video. Next, I would not be talking about all women, even though it feels like it. And if you haven't subscribed to my second channel, who is Anthony Spade, the link is in the description. All right. Today, we're going to be talking about how to get a woman to respect you immediately. And when I say immediately, I mean, you have to do these things at the beginning of meeting her and at the beginning of you actually interaction. All right. Your interaction at the beginning of the relationship will tell women how you are the entire relationship within five. I'll probably say two minutes of a, of a woman conversating with you. She will know if she's going to marry you or not. And she would know if she's going to be able to control you. A woman would not get married, get in a close relationship unless she could control the man. Alpha males typically keep their woman on the edge of their seats the entire relationship so she never has time to think about what happens if the relationship ends. That all starts with these tips that I'm telling you today. First, you got to tap inside her weakness. Her weakness is being able to control you in public. What you must do, you must be able to tell her the brutally honest truth when it's just you and her. You can't be in front of people trying to debate with her or trying to argue with her because you have entered into her world. What is her world? The emotional world, the victimized world. One thing that a woman knows on surface, majority of people can be persuaded to go in her way. What you must do is that after the show is over and it's just you and her privately, you have to be able to correct her and tell her her flaws that she had on surface. That will come in time. That will come in confidence. I mean, that will come in time. That will come with confidence. But first, you must be able to correct her when it's just you and her. Next, when it's just you and her. You must be prepared to be brutally honest with her, even if it hurts her feelings. Nine times out of ten, it's going to hurt her feelings. What do you need to know about a woman when hurting her feelings. As long as you're giving her truth to your criticism, you would not offend her at all. She actually prefers that. If a woman is doing wrong and she knows that she could keep doing wrong because it makes her feel powerful, she'll continue to do it. But when you could be brutally honest and show her where she's trying to get over at, then she's going to respect you. If she looks fat in a dress, she wants you to tell her that. Why? Because women know at the end of the day, when they scrape their makeup off, when they take all their clothes off, they're not the perfect person at all, right? But what society does is society says, I'm only going to treat people the way that I want to be treated. And women take advantage of that because the more of a gentleman a man is, the more lies he tells. Women stop respecting men when men are telling them lies. Women always think, this guy is lying to me. I'm not that pretty. I've seen myself naked. I've seen myself without makeup. Trust me, guy, I'm not as pretty as you're making this out to be. So she knows that that guy is a liar. And at the beginning of the relationship, at the beginning of meeting her, she already knows I would never love that guy. I will always use him for the rest of my life because he's not treating me how I actually feel inside. Which is why a lot of bad guys get to keep the woman as long as he keeps putting her down by telling her her flaws. You have to understand with a woman, telling her a lie is you being a good man. Telling her the truth is you being an asshole. Next, loyalty. You have to make her earn it. In other words, you must always remind a woman, I don't trust anybody. I don't care how good you look. You have to be able to tell her that. You have to make her earn her loyalty. When a woman thinks that she has to earn your loyalty, she's going to think this guy don't trust me no matter what. So if you don't trust her, that means that you're not going to allow her to get over on you. So it's very volatile that you tell a woman at the beginning of the relationship 
don't get comfortable. I don't trust you. You have to earn it. A lot of you guys are scared to tell a woman this because you think that it's going to run, run them off and you're not going to have a chance with them. Well, guess what? Everything that you think that you're going to do and not have a chance with her is actually going to be the thing that makes her gravitate towards you even more. You're going to understand that as you get older. So understand when it comes to the loyalty part, when you guys start talking about relationships back and forth, just tell her this. With my loyalty, you got to earn it. What you don't tell her, I done had my heart broken. That's why. That's I don't want to get hurt again. I don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. Because that shows that you're bitter about a relationship. When, she, when you tell her that she has to earn your loyalty, you tell her you learned that from business. So she understand that business comes before her. And that if she, if, she, if she wants you to be loyal, she has to show the loyalty, loyalty even more before you show it. But it also sends a signal to her that says, this guy isn't going to trust me. As long as he don't trust me, he's, he's going to think that I'm going to misuse him, which means that he's going to take the relationship cautiously. You want to say that. Once you show a woman that you trust her and that you believe in her, it's over. She'll manipulate you. But when you tell her she got to earn it, now she starts thinking, what can I do to win him over? Because obviously there's nothing I'm going to be able to do. She's ready to live up to the challenge. Next, you must show interest in something she likes. Why do I say this? Because you have to be able to show a woman that she doesn't even have a life. That all she do is sit around her friends and talk crap. See, a lot of women try to get around a guy, right? And they try to convince you that they have a life. And pretty much that they're the cool one. So you should be happy to be around them. That's what majority of the women are going to do. They're going to convince you that you should be happy to be around them because they're so special and a lot of you beta males fall for it. No. When a woman starts acting like she all that, say, hey, what are you into? Wow. Go deeper into detail with it. Why? Because women like to talk their life up, but they don't know enough details. When it comes to success, majority of people that are successful can break down the details as to why they are successful. That's why you get to talking to somebody about making money, they start getting hyper. They start getting really into it because they've studied all the details. When it comes to a woman, when it comes to her lifestyle and she tries to throw in front of her like she's better than all the other girls or, 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 or she's special, you must play interest into it and make her break down those details. Once she's forced to break down those details, she's going to su subconsciously think, this guy think I'm lying. Once she starts to assume that you think she's lying about everything, she starts to humble herself. You have to understand, because of a woman's looks, a woman could create a fake identity and get a whole bunch of people to follow it just to hide the little girl that she has inside that's crying out for attention. A lot of you guys don't realize that most of these women know that they're ugly. They know that they're not a dime. They know that, but you know what it is? They gain attention by coming online telling people, I'm a dime and I'm special. The attention of somebody saying, no, you're not. No, you're not. You're ugly. You're this. Just because it's attention, they don't care if it's good or bad. Why? There's no such thing as bad publicity to a woman. When you start treating her like a celebrity, she's going to treat you like a fan. And when it comes to celebrities, they don't care if the news is good or bad. As long as people look at them, buy their records, watch their movies, everything's good. That's why I tell you, you in order for you to go to Hollywood and survive, you can't have a soul. It's the same thing with a woman. She can't have a soul if she wants to stay married and in control. This is Anthony Spade. Hopefully you take these tips and put them in your life. And trust me, you'll have a better life. But at the end of the day, it's going to boil down to this. If she ain't holding you down, she's slowing you down. Comment, like, subscribe to both of my channels. Hasta la vista.